Welcome back. It is another super hot day. It is like at least 100 degrees out here. But yes, it is the last and final day that the dually Sally the Saddlebags is going to be on the factory wheels and tires. Of course, we are back here at Dirty Diesels where all of our wheels and tires come from. These guys got stuff going on everywhere. Uh, the new wheels are in the boxes right there. I'm not even gonna, we, we got nothing else to talk about. I'm just, we're just gonna jump right into it. That's what we're doing today. We were actually going to be at the shop working on the first gen. These just came in, the tires just came in. I'm like, you know what, I cannot wait any longer. We are still on the factory suspension for now, keywords for now. Anyway, without further ado, let's, now, and I'm gonna, I am teasing you, I am teasing you, I know. Uh, these actually came in a lot sooner than what we were expecting. These probably only took about six weeks. Normally it's like at least eight, seeing that these were a custom order, uh, finished, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes, yes. All right, so these are a 22 inch American Force. I believe the model is Zinc. What we did here is we got no dimples because all the American Forces all come with dimples and we only got one, one American Force logo. So these are uh, the 10 lug wheels. Uh, we did not opt for the, what they call super single fronts, uh, normal wheels in the front. They are gonna be still be a dually wheel in the front. And that is for one big reason. See this area right here on the truck? See this area right here on the truck, how it's got nice paint there? We wanna keep that. So if we went with something super, super wide, and it's still gonna happen regardless because these are gonna be wider, that part of the front fender would just be blasted. So uh, we did go with the normal wheel in the front. We are gonna have some, some big meat in the back hanging out, uh, but that is what the wheels look like. We still have to mount them, get them put on, and I will let you guys know what we're going with tires here, here shortly, but I am super pumped. We did not go with a gloss finish on this because let's be honest, this thing is driven all the time and gloss wheels are awesome, but the finish, if you're washing them a ton, which this thing gets just insanely dirty, it's just disgusting already. If that's the case, these uh, satin, these aren't really flat, these are like satin black. They're gonna hold up better to washing. So if you went one step further even more, like my 08, my 08 has a textured finish. So that's even flatter and rougher than satin. Those things I can take a Brillo pad and scrub them and not mess them up. These are a little bit you know, more delicate than that, but they're not anywhere near as delicate as gloss. So that's really why we went with the satin. That's why we went with the um, kind of like the dually front wheel. So that's that's it. That's that's what we're waiting for. So huge, huge thank you to American Force for getting these out uh, sooner than expected. We didn't, there was no rush. There was no special order with this. Josh placed the order just like anybody else uh, for anybody else. So uh, they just must have not have a lot going on. So these are the tires that we're going with. They are a 285, 55, 22, which measures out to be like a 34 inch tall. So they're not really, they're bigger than 33s, not quite 35s. Um, I believe they're like 11 wide. So uh, I've seen plenty of duallys with setups like this and I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, 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 very excited. You can see, uh, you can see our man Mikey G's wheels down here. You can kind of see what I'm talking about, like the dimples around the lips. Those kind of what come factory, how they normally set them up. I opted for smooth lip and only one American Force logo. So that's the plan. All right. Hi, Josh. Hey, Greg. Josh, you look like you uh, might have been sweating a little bit today. I feel like I've been swimming. Hi, That's Aaron. Awesome. Hi, Aaron. Hey, hey, hey. You, you also look like you might be sweaty a little bit. Yeah, it's, yeah, bit. it's, 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 it's hot today. We like we're So, all right. All YouTube. YouTube. You guys have YouTube now. I didn't, this wasn't like that, but well, you guys, was, is it, is your channel Dirty Diesels? Yeah, it's just Dirty Diesels. Dirty Diesels. It's official. They just, yeah. they just put their first video up, so go make sure you guys check them out, give their video a follow, subscribe to their channel. Um, they're going to be videoing, what, pretty much all of the, all of the awesome things that come in and out of here, all the crazy wheel and tire setups. God knows what's going on with that maybe out that. there. Maybe not that. Okay. Maybe, well, maybe people want to know. Maybe people want to know. We'll, we'll make it. <laughs> shenanigans that's what we're videoing so make sure you guys go give them a follow give them you know subscribe to their channel go check them out they're going to be putting up videos on what a sem pretty semi-consistent basis so if you guys want to see their ugly uh, if you want to see their ugly mugs you go over there you go check them out too so um 
We're ready to go, right? Are we getting? Yeah, let's do it. Getting ready. We're to ready. Start. All right. Guys, we are currently ordering dinner and we had to stop for a agua break because it is hotter than heck out here. Uh, but we got all the wheels and tires mounted. We are now getting ready to pull the truck in and get these bad Larrys put on here. Look at these massive damn adapters. These things are crazy and they're so heavy. They are, I, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna do it. So these are for the rear uh, adapters and then these are the front ones um, and then they also came with these plates over here these are the massive center caps so we're gonna go ahead and put these things on I cannot wait to see what this thing looks like Look at this thing. Look at this. Like that's that's okay to that's okay to feels like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, all of the wheel bearings. That's all I have to say is all of the wheel bearings. Alrighty guys, we are in the wee hours getting these things on. These things are quite the process to get on. So, got the fronts completely done with the center caps, with the stock factory covers. We are gonna be getting different one of these. We got the boys in the back. These things gotta be torqued. The actual semi 33 millimeter nuts have to go to like 400 foot pounds, which that torque wrench is about 17 feet long and it is super, still, still very, very hot out. But these, oh man, woo! The back though, look at the back. Look at the back. Goodbye, Aaron. Oh, damn. Goodbye, Aaron. Bye. Bye, Josh. See ya. Thank you. Thank Get you, guys. Sleep. I know. You guys, so too. Tired. Yeah. What time is it right now? It is... Hold on. Wait for it. 9.42. Holy oh. smokes. Good mark. Yes. So scared. Yes. Putting on dually wheels takes a very... Hour. It's, 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 it's a lot more than slapping on regular wheels, that's for sure, but... Fun. Yeah, we, we got it done. It's well worth the time because they look awesome. Yeah, it's... This, this center cap is making the wheel like... I don't know how I feel about the center caps. I feel like they yeah. almost took away from the wheel design. I don't know. I think the... the, the I gotta see in the daylight. look too plain though. Yeah, that's true. I don't yeah, know. I think it'll look good with the spike lugs. Yeah, I gotta get the yeah, spike lugs. Yeah, you can them on there. Alright. Time to go home. Hopefully they ride smooth and stay on there. And stay on there. Four to a million of us. Yeah.
All right, guys, we are home. Obviously, it is the next day. We got home around like 11.30 last night, went right to bed, passed out. I had to shower. Um, it was just a super late night. Huge, massive thank you to Josh and Aaron to stay late to help me get those things on. Uh, today, it is still about 1,000 degrees, unfortunately, uh, but I am keeping the stock wheels and tires. A lot of questions about the stock wheels and tires. I am keeping those. I am super, super pumped about the way this thing turned out. I love the way it looks. Like I said, we do have some suspension stuff coming for this. Uh, I do think it needs to be raised up just a little bit. Uh, still has a pretty heavy rake in the back, but uh, these things just look absolutely killer. I am super, super pumped. Uh, it is all of the meat in the back. They are so wide. But I believe that is pretty much gonna do it for this upload, guys. We are gonna be back in the shop tomorrow and this weekend working on the first gen. We are gonna be finally, finally getting back to the shop. But let me know what you guys think of the dually setup. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't stop looking at it now. It is like, it's officially starting to come together now. So uh, that's it, guys. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys tomorrow. See ya.